And now, a Dice Tower Digital Review with Brian Hoyer. Hi, and welcome to another Dice Tower iOS game review. This week we're going to be looking at uh, Reiner Knizia, and if I mispronounce the name, I apologize, uh, iOS specific game. A while back, a game came out for the uh, iPad called City of Secrets, and that company's now making a sequel. And in order to promote that, they hired Reiner to basically make a tie-in board game to help promote it and, and play it up. The game is called Pipes, and we'll take a look at it right now. Here's the main menu to Pipes. Before this, though, you know, there is a beautiful cutscene, just great graphics, very playful, cute characters. has absolutely nothing to do with the game. It basically ties into that City of Secrets world that this supposedly takes place in. So... You'll love this beautiful graphics when you first start it up, but basically the game is much simpler than that. You have a few options. You can hit this, and you have to sit through this loading screen each time to see the directions. And then you have to sit through it again, which is kind of annoying. You've got very few options. Sound and check out the credits, because it's a simple game. Or you can start a game up. See, there are several levels to the game, so we choose level one. And basically it's a tile laying game where your tiles are pipes. Okay, what you need to do is take this center pipe and you need to connect it to every single pipe going all the way around the border of the screen. You do that by placing, oh, here's my next piece right here. I'm going to play this one next. The way it's facing now, it shows, it highlights the square I can place it. Luckily I can rotate it and give myself some more options. When you're laying pipe, you have to connect a fat pipe to a fat pipe. See this little gold skinny piece? Can't connect to there, but it could connect down there. See if I play it right here, the top would connect to the bottom. So skinny pieces connect to skinny pieces, fat pieces connect to fat pieces. That's fine. When you connect to an outside piece, however, one of the exit pipes, you can use skinny or fat to complete the circuit. It's not a big deal. Just know that if you use a skinny pipe to complete it, you get the points indicated. 20 points for this pipe, 40 for this one. 20, 50, you get the idea. If you complete the circuit using a fat connection to fat, you get double the points. And if I were to make a circuit that is fat all the way through, I get quadruple the points if I don't ever have a skinny connector anywhere on the line. So what I'll do is I'll take this piece, whoops, didn't mean to rotate it, and I'll place it right there. And then the next piece pops up, and I've got a few options here. I'm going to place it right there. Skinny to skinny, may as well. And the game continues on in such a manner. In fact, let's try to finish up one pretty soon here. Here we go. I'll connect, and if you see, I'm going to finish with a skinny piece, which means I get the 50 points in my score. If I finish with a fat piece, which I can do right now, I'll get double the points place this piece right here. So I'll get the 20 and then I got 80 for this one because I connected a fat piece to the 40. And basically your goal is to fill up the board and make a connection to every single pipe along the way trying to build up to the highest score possible. So final thoughts for pipes. Um, it's fairly light and it plays quickly which is kind of nice. It's a good filler game maybe if you have a commute on the bus or you just have you know some time real quick to get a fast game in. But again, being that you can only play it alone, and the fact that it's not very deep, it's just a very basic tile placement game without any extra rules thrown in whatsoever, really, um, kind of detracts from it. It makes it a little... it gets old after a while. Basically, on a scale of 1 to 10, i go with a 6 for this game. If you're the type of person who loves those puzzle games, it'll probably score a little bit higher for you. You'll like it. If you're the type of person who can only get little quick bite-sized games in, this is a game for you, too. Otherwise, uh, it's a filler game at best. It's just something to add to your collection for those few times when you might want to you know, get a quick fix. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>